All right. Please bear with me here because the audio disappeared when I imported the videos to my computer. But what this is, is this is a harness that I'm making for my costume. I'm in the Mandalorian Mercs. My username is Kyle Garar. And in this video, I'll be demonstrating all the different pieces of it. And it should be cutting to a different section where I show the individual pieces sometimes here soon. I'll also be posting a link in the description for the homepage of the forum so you can sign up if you're not a member of the Mercs. And I'll also be putting a link for my upgrade thread so you can view all my stuff that I'm working on. Okay. So here is one of the sections that connects to this set of suspenders. It's a little hook attached to the belt and there are one on each side. And those are just the main parts of the suspenders, just the black parts. The brown part I used to cover the logo. I'll explain that in a later section. This part is where it hooks to the back of the belt. And this is the actual sheath for the knives that you saw earlier. And these are the set of primary straps that allow me to lower and raise the sheath. And what I made it out of is just several different types of material. And these are the bottom straps here that actually connected to the set of suspenders that I bought. So it doesn't just f flop around too much or you know fall out from the loops that I made. There's one on the left shoulder here and one on the right shoulder here. And down here at the bottom I'm about to show are the velcro pieces that attach the straps to the set of suspenders. And that's the first one. They're simply attached with the adhesive that comes on the back. It's industrial strength velcro from Walmart. And be moving on to the next section of it. There we go. Uh, there's another piece of Velcro that I have for when the straps move down, well actually up rather. The sheath moves down, the straps move up, and I can Velcro them so the straps don't just keep going all the way through. And here I'm demonstrating the materials. It's just kind of a suede material that's on the back of it and it, I cut slits for the straps to go through and the straps are sewed into what the material is on the inside and what that is is it's just a kind of foam board with poster boardish paper like stuff on the outside so it's very lightweight but it holds up pretty well and the straps were sewed into that first and I cut the slits into the suede material fed the straps through and then sewed it down as you can see on the edges and then on this side, I just have a brown material that I found from cannibalizing a leather notebook. And those are the loops that the knives actually go through. There's some thick cardboard on the inside, and it's the same material on the outside as what's on the back. It's a suede material. I just wrapped it around it and sewed it together. And then those were sewed onto the brown piece, and the brown piece was sewed onto the foam board. So... It's pretty simple. I like the design. It works well and I enjoy it and I need to practice with it a little bit as I'll demonstrate in the next part. And this section right here was just the same material and it wasn't part of the suspenders. I used it to cover the logo because I didn't want to just put a black strip across it because then it would be apparent that there was a logo there and it would just look bad. So I think it flows well with the section how I cut it out and sewed it and I think it looks well. And now I'll be moving on to the next section of the video where I demonstrate the actual usage. And bear with me here because I couldn't cut the section of the video out. It was working weirdly so I'll have to play with it in my next video. But anyway, this is where I'm getting ready to demonstrate how it actually works. we we'll just have to wait for me to stop talking here. Well, not actually talking, but... Okay, so this is how it normally sits with the knives facing... with the, the knives with the handles facing outward so you can grab them and draw them. But right now, the sheath is too high. That's why I have the set of straps 
velcroed so it holds it in place and then you just release the straps and it lowers the sheath so then you can draw the knives and it's a little bit difficult because as I stated earlier I haven't practiced with it much because I only finished it last night but this is how it works and then you have the knives drawn and some of you might recognize the designs of these from the Chronicles of Riddick movie which I did take inspiration from it but everything's not necessarily the same the harness isn't the same um, although some of the design is the knives might look the same but there's no serrated edges on it and believe it or not the knives actually exist in the Star Wars universe but anyway so uh, at this point I was just explaining that I was going I was going to post links so you can view the Mercs forum and my upgrade thread to see the other things that I was working on so thank you for watching this video and have a nice day